All right, and the last section here is about planning. You've already seen quite a bit of this with my daily pages, but I thought I'd give you a more clean example that you can copy and steal for yourself if you want. Uh, so I go through every single day during my weekly preview, which we'll talk about next, um, and build out my daily pages. So this is kind of what my daily page looks like that I copy into every day. And then below this, I start adding in my meetings. Oh, so nine o'clock, I'm gonna meet with Allie. And then, you know, 10.30, I gotta drive my daughter to dance, you know, whatever the case is, build it out. And then when I'm actually on that day, you know, pasted this into, you know, January 6th. When I'm on that day, when someone calls me at 9.45, I'll say, oh, 9.45, you know, Joe called and asked for help. Um, and I can say, send him that plan, make it a task, and hopefully get to it later and kind of work through my day like that. This stuff at the top, I'll just talk through briefly. This would certainly be custom to everyone. Uh, the big three, I try to put in big three tasks for big three goals for each day, really. The main things I want to accomplish for the day, uh, following kind of the Michael Hyatt uh, full focus planner approach, some of those. Just what are the main three things I want to get out of today? I try to publish a blog every day. So if I do, I usually say publish um, that blog and link, link over to the blog. I usually have a working copy in here. I can check that off if it works. I almost never, I think like twice, I've checked all these off in a day. That's my goal every day. So if I walk or run, I'll, I'll check that off. I do push-ups, I will, and then, hey, the workout section's done. I try to take a clarity break every day. I have videos on that. I try to slip out for a few minutes. If I do that, it's done. And then I have three different kinds of reading I try to do each day. And again, it sounds like a lot. I rarely make all these happen at once. Uh, but I try to read something from Pocket. Pocket's a place just to toss articles. So if I see something interesting, if I have time, I'll read it, but more often than not, I'll throw it in pocket. So I want to go at least chip out one of those from pocket every day and deal with it. And again, often do it as an article in here, like we showed you in the past section. You know, read that article, oops, that article. And then I can go into that article and you know put in the metadata from it. I guess we do the you know, semicolon, semicolon for article. There it is and then kind of fill out, okay, I read the article, here's what it was, add the whole summary, do that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, I read from Pocket. I try to read a book from Blinkist. That's a little bit bigger undertaking because it's you know 20 minute thing plus at least 20 or 30 minutes of post work as you saw in my example there, of pulling in the notes and pulling stuff from Goodreads and linking stuff up. But in theory, I'll do that. So that's where I'll say Blinked, you know, that book. <laughs> and then again, that book has the info on that page with everything on it. And then I try to do some reading beyond Blink. It's a chunk of a real book I'm reading. So I could say started or continued or finished. You know, it's often continued reading. And I've been reading cast. And so cast and I put book just because it's a the single word could get picked up other places. So I have that in there too. I can check that off. And hey, I did my reading and the whole day is perfect. And so again, it's nice and roaming and collapse things. So I keep these collapsed for much of the day and kind of work through my day here and get things done. But that's that's how my daily pages look. You can start with a template like that. You can start blank every day. Different people do it different ways, but that's just how I start. And I think something like this has worked pretty well for me. I think you can maybe tweak it and make it work well for you, but that's up to you. And I'll show you how I get those going in my weekly preview 